Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Spring MVC application using Gradle. So far I'm building my application using Maven. So the problem with Maven is there are lots of boilerplate code. For example, for uh, adding a dependency you have to add this dependency block over and over again where the only different thing is the group ID, artifact ID and version. Also for plugin there's lots of drama. So I decided to build the application with some clean coding. That's why I chose Gradle. So let's start our project. Select Gradle. Give a group ID. Artifact. Select auto import so that you don't have to do uh, refresh or build. I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, select your Gradle. So I have downloaded it over uh, over here. So Gradle. Uh, I'm using the 2.10. You can use any other version. No problem. Uh, so before going forward you need to add this to your system path so add it at the end with the semicolon so that you can use it from the terminal after that so select your location hit next Hit next so your project will be created so the equivalent of your palm XML is build gradle here you add the packaging war so first apply you do this this is the equivalent of packaging war and if you want to set up the name of the war all you have to do is add archive name and your name so in my case i selected root.war so after that you want to change your source compatibility it's by default using 1.5 so i'm going to use 1.8 so yeah. and also the target compatibility 1.8 which is equivalent to this big chunk of code and the root all I have shown so far so after that now if you go to your open your terminal and type you'll see your war file in the build live root.war so let's add the dependency. We are not going to needing test compile for this. Uh, for our provided dependency, we are going to add provided compile and everything else. that we're using over here time leaf uh, spring and everything so it's just this so here as you can see it's pretty much same over here but the mm, beauty is you don't have to define group ID artifact ID and version so define the group ID artifact ID and version with semicolon separated by semicolon and that's it finally let's grab the code from here okay first create the package and add it over here 
So if you see uh, error like this, you need to go to Gradle and hit refresh. So it should resolve your problem. So the code is pretty simple. If you are following my other uh, codes, then you can see it's just basic web application. Controller, home controller, simple, nothing new. So I need to add the home XML so that it returns this home page. So yeah, that's it. Now let's add the run configuration. Select the war exploded or war whatever you like and finally run it. So yeah, it runs. That's all I wanted to show you uh, in this video. That how clean it is comparing to the POM XML. Uh, Gradle is much better building tool. It's clean and there are lots of other functionalities available in here. Uh, comparing to this big chunk of code. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.